I can't sleep at night is because I'm thinking about all of them. Who is starving? Which one is starving? Where are they starving? Where are they hiding? We've heard stories of people living in caves, eating grass, and that's how they've survived. Since June 28th, I have had zero contact with any of my family members that are still at Tigray. And so it's been, it's been really hard. Our mom is crying! Please! We need help! We need help! This is the U.S. government. I know we don't, we're not going to flip things around on a dime like that, right? So this is a process. We have one government, that's what we know, let that government help. There is no way that the US or the Europe or anybody to say, do like this. We know how to do it, let us do, let us help our own people. The US government totally rejects accusations that it's taking sides in the conflict. It says that's pure fantasy. It's condemning violence carried out by all parties because no one's hands are clean. But that doesn't convince many Ethiopians who are so passionately committed to their side. Ethiopia is defending its territory. TPLF is on the offense. They're trying to take territory. We can't hear negotiated ceasefire when we're dealing with a rebel group, not only a rebel group, with a terrorist group. I wouldn't call them rebels. They are Tigrayans who are fighting back. We don't have a choice. Ethiopia's entire government has come down on a minority group.